what's your deal with HBK? Oh, <laughs> um, we don't, if, we, if you want to talk about it, cool. If you don't, totally fine as well. I've never talked about it before, but why not? You know what I mean? Um, so obviously as a kid, you either had to be a Brett or a Sean. And uh, I've said this many a times, Brett has this, uh, he is over in a unique way. He's not Hulk Hogan over and he's not Steve Austin over. You know what I mean? He's not the biggest star in wrestling history, but the way he was over is so unique that it's never been replicated. And it may not ever people feel for him to this day. I, and I do too. Like you can call me a Mark if you want. I don't give a damn, uh, but I'm a that's texting him on a weekly basis because we're friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he made me as a kid, he made me feel a certain way. Uh, and I think that's why I wrestle and, and cash too. We wrestle the way we do because I never, I, I love the, the, like, I love the cruiserweights and stuff. And this, this stuff is, was incredible, but Brett made me feel a certain way. And I want to make people feel that way too. Um, emotionally, not loving. They're never going to love me as much as love Brett, but um, emotional. I want an emotional connection in every match we have, uh, just like he had. And so uh, as a kid, I chose Brett over Sean. Um, and then in, uh, NXT, uh, Sean came on board and he was a, you know, he was, um, a teacher and he was a big fan of me and Dan's. And I was, and I, I even put a Facebook status up that says, maybe I'll forgive Sean, uh, but you know, just out of nowhere. And, uh, we got injured. I, I, uh, Dan broke his jaw. Uh, Kenta gave him to go to sleep, broke his jaw. Maybe two weeks later, I gave Seamus a lifter and I broke my arch tore my bicep. And um, I went through a real bad phase then because, you know, I was like, man, this is not going to work for us. I mean, this is a run of bad luck. And uh, we came back to TV and then at Raw 25, we were booked to do the deal with Hunter and his friends where they just beat us up. And I was so upset because for a lot of guys, it's like, oh, like it's, it's a paycheck. Who cares? But not to me. Like, there's a legacy I want to leave on wrestling. You know, if I, if I come into wrestling and there's nothing left behind, um, then I didn't do what I wanted to do, what I set out to do. Uh, but that happened, and I talked to Sean, and that was the first time we talked since um, the PC days. And uh, I told him, like, I was like, man, uh, this happened. Tore my bicep. I went through a really dark period. I thought I was going to quit. Um, I said, but thankfully, just like I've told you, I had the greatest wife in the world and she has supported me and she's brought me out of this funk and like she brought me out of a dark place and I'm here now and I'm super happy. Uh, he said, I was the same way. I was in this very dark spot. I met my wife. She's beautiful. Uh, and she pulled me out of this dark spot too. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome. He said, look, you and your partner are way too talented to be doing what you're doing tonight. You're way too talented to stay at this point. Just keep your nose to the ground and keep grinding and you're going to get over it. Like, oh man, Sean, thank you so much. And so we had this bonding moment, right? And then we got in front of his friends, uh, X-Pac and Hunter and Billy and Road Dog and Scott. And as soon as we got in front of his friends, he started making fun of me and making fun of my situation and what happened with my bicep. And I was like, man, I just poured my heart out to you. And because we're going over what you know they're going to beat the shit out of us uh you decide to take all that stuff and make fun of me about it and i never ever forgot it and um as soon as we were done with the the business at raw one person said thank you to us and it was sean walton everyone else was so cold to us and treated us like we were just like the on the bottom of their shoes except for Sean Waltman. And I'll never forget that for Sean. And I hope that there's a day we, that comes that we can have a conversation and sit down and I can ask him why he did that. Um, and we can reconcile if he wants to. Uh, but yeah, uh, if I feel it, if I love you, I love you. Uh, if I don't, I don't. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, that's a really interesting story. I had no idea where that was gonna go or what the situation was gonna be, but um... It's interesting how things like that happen. I mean, it's like classic schoolyard, shit, right? Yeah, and it was, just, it was just to look cool in front of his friends who already think he's the coolest guy in the world. Right. So, what? Yep. and as much as I love Brett, like, and I look up to you too. Like, come on, you did. Yeah. But uh, I go 
over it. We've got over it. And uh, we're on the other side of that now. And we're writing our own legacy. So I'm very happy about that. 